Okay, so I am here to show you how I do a cartoon. And I've actually decided to redo a cartoon I messed up. So um, my aunt actually submitted an idea for a hermit crab as Grumpy. And uh, that's what it came out as. Um, I So I used this like colored pencil that works as a watercolor as well. And I felt like it... Um, well, basically, it got the shell red. I'm still learning how to use them. So um, I think I'm going to remake it is my plan. And I'm not going to use the same colored pencils. So what I'm going to do um, is use different paper, too, because I have this special paper for when I use water with my pencils. And it's expensive, so I'm not going to use it. Um, so I have another cup, um, pad. It's this one. Uh, well the cartoon on it already but I'll just flip to another page I usually try to keep a page in between every cartoon and most of the time I end up ripping them out anyways so I can scan them so anyways so I'm trying to think how I can help you see this can you see that okay so I have my crab that I'm putting up here to reference and then what I do it's like my trusty pencil here. I like this pencil. It's a point three lead. And um, I usually like to start with the eyes just because I think they're so expressive. Do, do, do. So in making grumpy animals, this up a little bit. What I've found is what's most important is the eyelids, um, kind of making them halfway, like, uh, and having a sad lip. So you can see that in this one here. His eyelids are halfway, and he has a sad lip. That's what helps the most. Um, crab's a little hard though because it doesn't really give me much to work with. Unfortunately, I don't feel like you can see this, but I'll try to sketch it quickly. And maybe I can learn how to fast forward this portion of the video. Uh, okay, so what I'm trying to do is just show him hanging out of his shell like, oh, life is so miserable. Um, on that note, by the way, I... Some people were like, oh, why are you choosing something negative, like grumpy emit, grumpy animals? But really, my hope is to find what's funny and good in hard situations. Um, that's something that I learned from my mom when she had cancer for so long that you kind of just got to laugh because otherwise it sucks. So um, that's why I enjoy doing the grumpy animals right now because it's like, finding the funny in <laughs> rough situations. So. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I wish you could, can you kind of see this? I'll flip it around in a second. So I just really, what I do is I roughly sketch it with my pencil before I go over it with a marker. So. And really, um, right now, since I'm trying to do so many cartoons a day, I'm trying not to get too detailed or too hung up on stuff. I make mistakes all the time, but I do my best to just let them go. So, here's my sketch of my little grumpy crabby. Can you see that? Ooh, this way. Yeah. So. Um, what I do next is I shall outline him in my pen. So since the crab is red, I'm outlining him in a red Sharpie. Um, I found Sharpie works really well to give like a strong cartoon edge. And um, some other markers I've used, let me show you, like this one. When I erase, it, like, um, what's the word? Smears. And it makes me very unhappy. So, back to my crab. 
So I'm just quickly outlining. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, I often um, make noises when I draw, and I also, sometimes it helps me to make the facial expression myself, so I'll be like, trying to figure out like what the face looks like. So. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. I'll flip it around again for you. That's the outline of my grumpy crab. Um, I need to do his shell, so I'm picking this color for the shell. Maybe I can... Eh, no, I still want you to see. Okay. So... Outlining the lines for his shell. Poor little crab. So unhappy. Okay. Okay, so that's what I did with his shell. Um, I still need to do his eyes, his little eyeballs, his unhappy little eyeballs. <laughs> okay, uh, see this brings me so much joy. Okay, next what I do is I take my eraser. I like this eraser a lot. It I don't know, it's like a good size. And there's like three in there. Anyways, so then I just go across the image and I erase my pencil. Sometimes I'm not as careful at erasing, and when I scan my images, the pencil marks are still there. So I'm trying to be a little bit better about being thorough in my erasing. When I was in like ninth grade, maybe 10th grade, my chemistry professor wrote this letter about me like as a recommendation for my next high school. But he, so he said some positive things, and in the end he was like, the only fly in the ointment is that she doesn't pay attention to details. And, uh... You know, I'm still trying to improve on that. Okay, so next I am going to, oh, this is my bag of colored pencils my sister gave me. I uh, actually culled through all of her colored pencils and picked the best one. <laughs> I know, I'm very, she's very generous spirit, I would say. Okay, so I'm using red and I'm just going to shade my crab. This is a very dark red, actually. Nice deep colors. This is a Prismacolor pencil. <laughs> I actually find this pencil a little hard to work with right now because it's so dark. I I'm afraid it's gonna be too dark at some spots because you know I want to do shading. I don't want to screw that up. Ooh, little crabby. Ooh, so unhappy. So what I'm doing first is I'm just putting a light color all the way over him. And his little eyelids too. So then what I do, here I'll show you where he's at. Then I go back and I press darker into like the edges to kind of help him look a little more 3D. Just a little bit. The only hard thing, um, so when I got this idea submitted, they, the person just said, how about a, a grumpy hermit crab? Which, it's fine, I can draw a hermit crab, but usually it helps if there's a little bit more story to it. <laughs> so um, I kind of make up my own story in my head usually, like, why is he so sad? Usually helps me do a better job of coloring. 
I think I've decided for him he's just tired of like having to carry his heavy shell all over the place. I would be tired of that. Okay, since he's very red, I think I want to add like a yellow just to make him a little more orangey. La 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 la. Now, this colored pencil doesn't give him as much of a smooth look, and that's something I'm still trying to figure out if it's, you know, me needing to improve my colored penciling techniques or um, use different kinds of colored pencils, which is why I have the watercolor colored pencils now. But this is so tiny that it smeared too much when I tried it earlier. Okay, so here's my crab. And now I'm going to do the shell, which I'm looking for like a tan, this might do, ooh, it's kind of dark, ooh, no, let's see, I know, I'm still trying to work on organizing my stuff, um, maybe this one, okay, Ooh, that's kind of dark too. Gosh. Well, que sera. Coloring. So an important thing when coloring with colored pencils is to make sure you're coloring in the direction of the object. So for instance, this shell kind of circles around, so I'm making sure to do my lines going in that direction. I mean, this is not like, ooh, amazing coloring, just very basic. So I'm also doing a little bit more shadowing where his limbs are hanging out. By the way, if you're still watching, I'm quite impressed. <laughs> but it was my brother who actually um, suggested that I make a video of how I make a cartoon. So here I am, Tyler, I hope you're happy. My brother's actually a film editor, so he's gonna have to teach me some tricks on how I can maybe speed these up in the future. Although I guess technically he's like a manager or something now. I don't know his official title. So maybe he's not doing as much film editing. Okay. Little crabby. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of color in the bottom. Okay. That is what he looks like. Ooh, there we go. Although, you know, I kinda wanted him to look a little more smooth so i'm going to add some pink sometimes the way to make things look smoother with colored pencils is to layer so i'm layering Ooh, it's a little more pink than i wanted so this is a perfect example of how um when i do art it's a lot of experimentation i just say hmm, i'm gonna try this and i try it <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't work and then sometimes it does. All right, then I'm going over with this gray. Yeah. Yes, I am overall pretty satisfied. Okay. So there you have it, my grumpy crab. 
or my grumpy hermit crab. So thanks for watching and that's it for now. Oh, please submit an idea. I get so excited when people do. So you can just go to my website, letyouridea.fly.com and submit your idea there. Thanks. Bye.